Mr. O'Day, you said on talk radio that there is going to be a reduction in benefit programs like Social Security and Medicare. You have said that Senator Bennett's spending on government programs have cr has created dependency. Yet you've said that the construction spending, the government spending that you benefited from, like those construction contracts that helped you build your personal wealth, are opportunity. So here's the question. Why is government spending that benefits you opportunity and government spending that benefits other Coloradans dependency? Well, Kyle, that's not what I said. What I said was I will not touch Social Security or Medicare, Medicaid. What I said is that Michael Bennett's reckless spending with Joe Biden has put those types of programs at risk. We've got to quit the sp frivolous spending. We've got to reduce the size of our government. We've got to make sure that our government functions efficiently. When you grow a bureaucracy, like the in, uh, Inflation Reduction Act does, and you put $80 billion behind 87,000 IRS bureaucrats to come shake down working Americans, you're not making our economy function better. That's where I've been. We need to take on this reckless spending. Michael Bennett doesn't get it done. He gets no results. One bill in 13 years that he's been president, the only thing he's been consistent on is voting with his president 98% of the time. Can I, can so, I? So to be clear, you'll have an opportunity Thank here, you. but I want to make sure that we're clear on this. You're saying that we need to reduce the size of government but not touch Social Security and Medicare. I've that, that's been what saying said. that all along. Okay. That's exactly what I've said. If, if I could ask you to answer my question. Why is government spending that benefits you and your personal fortune, why is that opportunity? But government spending that helps other people, you call that dependency. When we pay people to sit on the couch at home, that's dependency. When we pay people to invest in, in our transportation system, in our water storage systems, in our economy, in our, in our energy, those are assets that we're growing. I don't want to leave my house with a leaking roof to the kids. We need to invest in America. You put people to work and they benefit from that. You asked to respond. Well, first I'd say I think it's so insulting to Coloradans when Joe says Coloradans need to get off the couch. That's what he says. That's what he said tonight. He said it before. And it's insulting. People in this economy with this inflation are killing themselves. And even before it, they were killing themselves to afford housing and health care and higher education, and early childhood education. The problem is not that people need to get off the couch in Colorado. And, uh, and I think, I'll say again, I can't think of a more egregious uh, uh, deficit spending than the Trump tax cuts, 50% of which went to the top 5% at a time when our income inequality is as bad as it's been since the 1920s. And that's what he wants to go back to Washington to make permanent. That's not going to make working people's lives better. We should pass my two tax cuts that are the biggest tax cuts that working families have had in generations. We passed them last year. Mr. O'Day, would you like to be heard on the issue of government spending and inflation before Look, we move on uh, to other topics? Let's clear this up. First off, you just voted for an Inflation Reduction Act that even Bernie Sanders says doesn't reduce inflation whatsoever. In addition to that, it grows a bureaucracy by 87,000, 40,000 people, whatever you want to call it. It's $80 billion. That's going to shake down working Americans. That's a tax. You're taxing working Americans. When the Joint, tax, when the Joint Committee on Taxation, a nonpartisan committee, says that it's going to, 75% of these audits are going to go after working Americans making less than 100 grand a year, that's a tax. 15 seconds. Two things. One, he said again, and he's, he's got an ad up lying about this. He said, I've only passed one bill since I've been there. That, that's completely untrue. It's, this has been fact-checked. I've written 101 bills that have passed, 82 of those with a Republican co-sponsor. And that's just the ones that I've written, not the ones that I've co-sponsored or the ones that I've worked on. <laughs> second, second, the taxes in this bill the alternative minimum corporate tax that says, you know what, maybe after all, corporations should have to pay at least 15% when teachers and firefighters and police officers in Colorado have to pay a much higher than that as a percentage. That's what he calls a tax on working people. Working people in Colorado are not Fortune 100 companies. Thank you, Senator Thank Bennett. You. Kyle, I you did the interview. It's one bill, 
in 13 years that became law. One no, standalone bill that was not rolled alone. into other larger packages but of which he was bill. the prime sponsor. One and bill. as he acknowledged, he the wrote the other bill. The only thing he's been consistent on, on is voting for Joe Biden 98% of the time. That's okay. where you've been All consistent. Right. Can, I, can, right. I, can I respond to that? You said you wanted us to talk. Go ahead. He keeps saying this, that I vote with, with Joe Biden 98% of the time. The bill, the votes that I have taken, the bills that I have supported, from the bipartisan infrastructure bill to the bipartisan postal reform bill to the bipartisan gun bill, which he opposes and Mitch McConnell voted for, the bipartisan veterans bill that's the most significant expansion in veterans benefits in a generation, the semiconductor bill to bring back an industry for the first time since Reagan was our president and outsourced everything, and yeah, the climate, the, the Inflation Reduction Act, all of those are popular in Colorado. His position on guns, unpopular in Colorado. His we will talk position, about guns. Thank you, Senator. His position not to cap drug prices for seniors, unpopular in Colorado. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. Five trillion right. in spending. Five trillion. We're going to move on to some other topics.